Hey everyone, Luke Hobbs here at Gardner Holgate Auction Rooms. I'm the auctioneer and head of guitars. Uh, today we're going to be looking around the guitar room for our upcoming auction on the 7th, 8th and 9th of December. Um, we've been holding these auctions for uh, over 15 years now and I cannot believe we have never done this. Um, so we're hopefully going to be sharing more content like this going into the future. This auction, 7th, 8th and 9th of December 2022, for those of you who are watching this video in the future. Uh, and the catalogue for this auction can be seen auctions.gardnerholgate.co.uk. There's 1,309 lots going on under the hammer. Uh, guitars, guitar-related items like amps, effects, spares, audio equipment, pedals. Uh, we've got memorabilia as well. Um, but today we're just going around the guitar room. We'll feature other things in videos going forward. So please remember to like and subscribe to keep up with regular content. Uh, we're going to start trying to do more and more regular content for you guys, whether it's condition report videos, uh, walk arounds, information of new collections coming in. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. I'm sure you'd much rather be looking at uh, the, this wonderful selection of guitars we got coming up rather than my face. Uh, so 7th, 8th and 9th is the auction and we look forward to seeing you there in person or online. You can bid on, bid online, bid in person. Uh, let's take a look. Okay everyone, so this is the view you get greeted with when you first come into the cell room. I'm stood by the main doors now. So as you can see a sea of guitar, guitar heaven. And I think what we'll do is we'll have a, have a quick run around. I'll mention a few things but anything that you uh, catch sight of that you think you might like then um, yeah have a look at the catalogue auctions.gardnerholgate.co.uk um, we're always happy to give condition reports as well for those of you who can't come down and view in person and have a look uh, so myself and Chris here we're always on hand to answer questions um, and give you some advice we're both players as well so we can give a good idea of playability of guitars as well as condition and originality um, but we're always happy to help and customer satisfaction is always the main thing so um yeah it's always worth asking the question because uh, we would like all of our buyers to be happy with their purchases um so we'll just take a run round we'll go to lot one to start with here we go um an epiphone sheraton kicks off the cell there lot one um i'm not going to mention everything as we go round um as we say so have a look at the catalog if there's anything that interests you I'll point out a few pieces as we do go round. A few Gibsons there. There's the first Gibson, uh, vintage Gibson of the sale. Uh, lot 13 is this 1957 ES125. Actually, we do have two of these in the sale, so that could be the 52. We've got a 52 and a 57. Um, one of which is owned by Michael Chapman. We'll have a, we'll discuss his things as well. We've got the Michael Chapman collection in the cell. There's a 1970s EB base. <clears throat> the first 50 lots are all from a single owner collection, a chap called Mike Mager, uh, based in the north of England. Um, he was uh, well known on the circuit in his area, um, so some of you I'm sure will know him, um, but with a lot of guitars from him, um, keen on resonators as well, got a lot of resonators in this cell, probably more than we've ever had. Uh, there's a 1964 Epiphone Rivoli, this is one of his, um, so uh, it's had uh, a neck repair, this one, and a bridge pickup put in, um, or slightly up from bridge pickup put in, with an extra control as well, so uh, not not completely original, puts it into the player's grade category, um, or affordable vintage, I guess the expression is. Um, more quirky Gibson Victory bass there, another one of Mike's guitars. Um, this one's had the finish stripped, um, but yeah, quirky thing, uh, a bit different. You don't often see them around. Resonators of various budgets, um, Johnson, sort of a lower end um, of the budget range. And then up to the National Resophonic there, um, that's the National Triolian. A 
a sea of Diamond Starfire bases, again, all from the same collection. Um, he was a fan of Diamond Starfire bases. Uh, Gretsch base there as well. Fender Highway 1 Strat there. Always popular with the nitro finish. Uh, a couple of old famous star bases. Uh, this one in particular has a rather interesting neck repair there. A big bar block on there. Gibson Memphis 335. Les Paul Catalina and Canary yellow finish there. There's a Hagstrom Swede from the 1970s, mid 1970s Hagstrom Swede. We've actually got two of these in the cell. Um, selling guitars for 15 years and I've only ever sold one and then uh, two happened to turn up, same year, same finish. Um, but re both really cool actually and in, in good condition. Um, this one's got its original case as well. Single owner from new this guitar. Nineties Japanese Fender Strat Twelve. And we got some really nice uh, acoustics in this cell as well. Really good range. Uh, this is a Brook, made in Devon. This one, UK maker, makes some phenomenal guitars. And here we have a Loudon. This one's uh, twenty years old now, actually two thousand and two made. It's an F twenty five model. Music Man Stingray, sort of an earlier example. I believe this one's late 80s um, from memory. Um, Candy Apple Red Finish, Leo Fender's favorite. Another National Resophonic there. And a 1970s Les Paul Deluxe, which has had its mini humbuckers taken out and Normal size humbuckers put in, not the tidiest job. Um, again, things like condition um, we can advise on. Um, and we, we also mention quite a lot in the catalog descriptions as well. Um, a lot of the hardware has been changed on this one. So again, players grade category, if you're after that kind of thing. Uh, memorabilia we sell as well. Nick Mason signed snare drum and some symbols. Nick Mason signed symbols as well. Um, these are being sold on behalf of charity. Um, so we have the provenance for those as well. Uh, some of John Entwistle's guitar strings there. Um, a few other bits. Behind there is a Noel Gallagher signed picture. Lefty guitars as well. There's a lefty Takamine acoustic. So we do sell left-handed guitars as well. Um, they they come up, you know, a bit, a bit of a rarer sight. Um, for obvious reasons, but they do come up. I think we'll have a bit of a quicker look around. Guild Acoustics, Fender Strat there, American Standard 90s, 60s, Gibson, ES125, this one, Deep Body. Ovation Acoustics. We actually have Cat Stevens Ovation Acoustic in this cell, which we'll get to in a bit. Again, two in one cell. As you'll see, another one here. These actually came in within a day of each other. Same year, same model. A bit like the Hagstrom Swede that I was telling you about. And actually, here's the other Hagstrom Swede here. So as you can see, again, Hagstrom Swede, mid-70s. Again, in good condition, this one. Another lovely acoustic Santa Cruz model H, this one. Fender Strat Plus replace guard. We do have the original. Uh, you'll see the replace guard also on the American Standard Telly there, um, which we again we have the original guard. A Bonnie Rate Strat there. Signature model Strat. Nice big necks on those. A 
another signature strap there, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, this one appears to be missing its original case for some reason. Um, I always wonder why the original cases get taken away, but um, unfortunately this one missing its original case. Instantly recognizable though. High-end Sir S-Type there. Parker Hornet, US made one, that one. Tyler Strat Type. A couple of custom shop, uh, 50s Fender custom shops there. 50s reissues, both in the Fiesta Red. One with the bird's eye maple and gold hardware and another with a more subtle flamed maple and the standard hardware. Anniversary Strat, a couple of pink guitars there, um, American Standard Fender Strat in pink, lesser seen in that finish, and the 305 model PRS, um, which some say are a more versatile Strat than a Strat, but you can all debate that amongst yourselves. Leave a comment. More High-end boutique guitars there, Don Grosh, US Luthier, Patrick Eggle, custom shop guitars, That's, there's one there with some private stock woods as they say, Bellman, an Australian Luthier, Ampeg, reissue Dan, Dan, Dan Armstrong copy, Heritage H150, uh, 60s Rickenbacker, Refinish this one as you all see. Here's our cabinet area where we keep our uh, more expensive guitars a bit more protected. Um, buyers are welcome to wander around and help themselves essentially um, under staff supervision, of course, but um, wander around and help yourselves and play things and try them out. Um, but we have a cabinet area which is sort of asked of you, so this will always be staffed and manned and we will assist with the viewing on these. Um, but again, you can still handle them, play them, have a look at the condition so you know exactly what you're buying. A few more bits of memorabilia. Um, that guitar there was used by Chris Rea to record his 2000 and two album, uh, five guitars album. It also appears on the front cover, a hand-drawn picture by Chris Rea, and with a letter of provenance, that one. Marty Stewart signed, Marty Stewart model Martin. Then we have a Greg Almond of the Almond Brothers fame. Greg Almond owned Lightwave Sabre guitar there. That's the 90s, There's a 90s National Triolian I mentioned earlier. Um, ES5 Gibson Switchmaster. There's a 30s L12 art shop at the back there as well. Uh, 1930s Gibson Super 400. That's a nice thing as well. Eric Clapton signed Strat. All of these come with provenance as well. Uh, Judas Priest signed 1980s Japanese Strat. 70s reissue that one. Um, there's the first of our vintage strats. We've got three good vintage strats in this cell. Um, this one was owned by Mark Griffiths, used to play bass for the Shadows, but this guitar was his from new. Um, it's essentially in, uh, in good original condition. It's had a refret that was carried out of the Fender factory overseen by Dan Smith in the 80s. Um, and there's a bit of refinishing around the edges on the black. Um, on this one, um, so just be aware of that. But essentially, it's a it's a nice thing. And we also have a '65 Fender Strat and Sunburst as well, which we'll we'll get to in a bit. There's a Guthrie Gavan owned and used Victory amplifier. Just having more of a whip round more. Resonators, some 30s Dobros there. More left-handed guitars coming up there. A couple of Burns basses, a Scorpion, 80s Scorpion and a 60s Bison. A 
sort of high-end D'Angelico's there, um, or the Japanese-made ones, these rather than originals, but uh, some good reissues. There's another good lefty one there. There's a 1970s uh, Gibson 335, uh, left-handed in superb condition, that one. That would be another good buy for the lefty, lefty players. Gibson Custom, one of the art historic range. I don't see many of those around. Some Japanese made fenders. Uh, Telecaster Custom, Photo Flame Finish Strat. Really love SGs, especially in Pelham Blue. SG Special model there. That one's actually consigned by local guitarist uh, Innes Syben, who some of you, or many of you, will know. Great guitarist, paid for pay, played for Page and Plant as well at one point. As you can see, a mixed range, high end, high end, mid range, budget range as well. Some super strats, Ivan as RG series super strats. Joe Pass Epiphone there, we've just walked past. Painter Player Guitar Company. Uh, many of you will know them, some of you won't. They did copies of famous guitars. Um, they did Keith Richards, Micawber, uh, this one being Francis Rossi's. Iconic guitar that you use for status quo. The original recently sold at auction for around 90,000, I believe, a couple of years ago at least. Some guitars that need a restoration there, so we do restoration projects. This Epiphone has a needs a neck repair. Um, so for those of you keen luthiers, Epiphone Supernova, Noel Gallagher with the, the Union Jack one there. Pedal steel, that's one of two pedal steels. We have an Emmons pedal steel in this sale as well. Amps, wall of noise. Jeff Beck, first year, Jeff Beck signature strat, big neck. Midnight Purple finish. Very rare double neck. Uh, John Diggins made one, this one. There's a letter of provenance about it there as well. Um, with John Birch pickups. Uh, John Birch pickups are also very popular. Stratocaster Plus. Again, going back towards the cabinet area, this is a very rare thing. Uh, John Valino in need of restoration, extensive restoration. This one, all the parts are in the box there. And um, this is actually found in a UK based antiques market. Um, so yeah, needs needs some work. Um, the gold plating's come off, lots of tarnishing. The aluminium's degraded in many places, but one that someone can put some love into I'm sure. There's Cat Stevens Ovation, a folklore model 1975. Um, so that will be coming up on the 8th of December with some other artists own guitars. Many pictures of Cat Stevens playing this. This one was bought in, uh, purchased by the seller in Bonham's auction um, in the 1980s of Cat Stevens gear uh, when he when he converted to Islam now known as Yusuf Islam um, so that one as I said coming up on the 8th this one is a Brian May a Burns Brian May red special it's a prototype um, approved by Brian May as well so this was actually played by Brian May and approved it was a pickup test bed prototype and we got the letters of provenance for this one and then as many of you know, we've got the Michael Chapman collection. Um, 
Michael Chapman unfortunately passed away last year. Um, a legend in his in his field, um, over forty albums. But we've got all of his guitars um, coming up on the eighth of December. These ones will be, and um, with all the other artists' guitars. So we've got a nineteen sixty Gibson ES one seven five. Um, there's another fifties one two five that I mentioned earlier. A late sixties D eighteen. Um, this one was also apparently used by Jimi Hendrix in a folk club. Um, so Michael has always said, um, there's no sort of provenance or anything to prove that, but uh, potentially used by Jimi Hendrix at one point. There's a Coa, Coa Wood 1920s Martin there. There's his Strat, 74, 73, 74 Strat. There's his National as well. The Gibson J200 is not his, but a nice thing again. There's his Larave. Again, these are not Michael Chapman's, but some nice things again. 1934 Gibson L10 in black finish. 1979 Martin D41. And then a modern uh, 2016, this one, VOS Gibson 175, Gibson Memphis. There's a 64J50, again, Michael Chapman's. And then more cabinet guitars. I'll go into more of these in detail. Um, but we have a super chat there on the front. We'll go into more detail in, in other videos that we'll be doing. Uh, there's a 1973 Les Paul Custom. George Harrison Telly that you'll see just there, and there's a Brian Ray SG there. There's Michael Chapman's favourite shirt, denim shirt. We've got some of his boots there as well, his fam favourite boots and his Martin Guitars hat. Uh, there's a 64 Gibson 330. Um, then there is an L5, 1940s L5. And just in there, we've got the 65 Strat that I mentioned that we've got earlier. Um, so yeah, 65 Strat, we'll have a closer look at that in another video. So like and subscribe to ensure that you can keep up with all these other videos from this auction. Um, there's an interesting guitar here next to it, found in a junk shop. It's got a, a early 60s Fender neck um, and other pre-CBS parts and some other later parts. So a bit of a mystery, that guitar, but it's certainly a an early 60s Fender neck um, and guard as well. 1969 Gibson SG in there. Uh, another vintage Gibson, a 50s LG acoustic. There's a 69 Fender Tele. A 1960 reissue Gibson Les Paul standard. PRS, 1989 PRS. Made a mistake actually. That's not a 69, it's a 56. Uh, so this is a 56 Tele. Um, I've just reminded myself because there's the 69 Tele there. Not looking properly, but this one was actually refinished by Clive Brown. Uh, loads of you will know Clive Brown, a master at restoring guitars to their original or former glory. We've got a 62 slab board fender strap there, refinished body, um, replaced pots, but otherwise original. 1966 Gibson J200. And that pretty much covers this room. So there we have it, guys. That's our auction on the 7th, 8th and 9th of December. Uh, you can see the full catalogue at auctions.gardenerholgate.co.uk. You can come and view in person on the 5th and 6th of December, 9am till 5pm and the morning of each sale from 8.30 up until the sale start times at 10am. Uh, for those of you who can't come and view in person, we are more than happy to provide condition reports. So we'll uh, provide extra photos, extra condition rundowns um, for things that might have been missed out of descriptions, but the descriptions are generally accurate. Um, 
And yeah, more than happy to assist. Uh, you can call us as well. Happy to chat with people over the phone. We can do video calls um, and uh, email condition reports as well, like we just mentioned. Uh, so the 7th, 8th and 9th uh, guitars. We have the Michael Chapman collection. We have the contents of the Tony's and Mater's workshop. We have guitar amps, pedals, spares, audio and studio equipment. Um, 1,309 lots going under the hammer um, in a week's time from now. So please remember to like and subscribe to see more of this content, more room run rounds, condition reports, and lots of exciting things coming up at Garden Holgate Auction Rooms. See you soon.